God bless you. This is Evangelist Jomanda Salah. Say hello to every church around America, every Baltic church around America. I want to express myself how I feel when I go to your church or sit down and in the one on the bench or your church. Today I went to the church and I was a very um, upset sometimes because sometimes you come to church and we see so many lady from God that they say they pastors and when I see them in the front they be preaching the word God they see you sitting down in one of the bench and they not recognize you you are a woman or God uh, you used to be a reverend wife so my husband passed away for many three or four years and then for those days I be a uh, lot of tribulation and everything passed too much test but when I go to church, I try, you know, to try to enjoy with brothers and sisters. But sometimes when I go to church, I see the unconformed because the brothers and sisters, they don't show you the love of God to this woman right here that you see right here. She's a born to me. I don't know what's going on in America. I don't know what's going on in so many churches that I see so people who are not on not love of God and they don't show you the love of God to you when you go to church. It's a say. We are the people of God. Do you are the people of God too? And why you don't show the love of God to a woman like this one? I go so many church around the neighborhood. And I be going to the church. I go one right here in Brooklyn. So I used to go to the church. People from Africa, because I know they come from that country. And the pastor is from Africa too. When I saw the pastor, pastor then he didn't care and you was a member from the church. He didn't tell you how you feel and he didn't tell you, listen, we, we're waiting for you if you didn't even come to this church. But he didn't say this like that. You come to the whole church, everybody looking at you like you didn't even um, um, come to the church. I don't even recognize you. Like that, something like that, you know, just looked at you like you nobody right there. And that's what said. Sometimes you go to that church, the name is Miracle Church. Sometimes you go to that church, and they let you stand right there. And they will not recognize that you are um, a lady from God. They will not recognize you. I uh, used to be a reverend um, wife. Because those people, they looking for people with a lot of merits and something like that. People, they have so many diploma. People, they have so many, um, for, um, they be recognized around America. They looking for high um, potential for people. That's what they are looking at. And you see, when you sell, it's two pastors right there. It's another one named Eddie, the other one named Eddie, the same names. But one is um, the brother of love to the pastor. And he is um, the son of love, not the brother of love, the son of love. Um, sorry about that. So, what I try to tell you about that, when you sell these people, they're supposed to show the love of God to you, but they don't do that. I know so many people from America just see videos like this one. It's not because I'm clarifying you church. It's not that. It's because when I went to the church, I tried to look for love, the love of God. Because you know, my husband used to come to that church for a long time. And you not give us that kind of love to my husband either. Because when he was in um, the position that he was sick, remember the state? I see he was so sad sometimes because he tried to look for the love of God in the church, but people in there, they don't give him the love to my husband. Because when they saw him, they were sick, they give him back hands like that, and they even look at my husband, they didn't even look at him for a long time, and they didn't even come to our home to see how we feel. They give it back to like, uh, um, people give it back to Jesus, they don't want to come back, and they say, I don't want to look for the Lord. That's the same way those church give it back to my husband. For a long time, I'm talking about that. So it's just that when I see church like that in America, that you come to that church and you saw the one, um, it's the lady right here in medical church, I say the name right here, and standing around the world to show how people there is two faces inside the church. And this lady um, named Josephine, that's the name, uh, she's the leader of the choir of Miracle Church. That lady, when you go to church, she don't speak to you, she didn't even talk to you because she's mad at you and she doesn't show the love of God to you. I used to be on her choir and I was thinking she was a beautiful lady, but when she gave me so many um, rules to 
Could she try to manipulate me? How I gonna sing inside the choir? I feel embarrassed. You know why? Because she tried to manipulate me. But they I just left only God to give me instruction. Now a woman. That's what I'm saying. And so sad when you go to those kind of church and give so many instruction and don't show herself and say what I don't look myself inside the mirror and see how I've been with God, right? That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not gratifying you, I'm not pointing you, I'm not doing things like that. I feel all upset, I feel sad. That's why you don't see me coming to your church. Because if you see in the church say, medical church, give you love to the neighborhood. Where's the love on the neighborhood? I don't see it. And so sad. Sometimes I come with one church right here, the Pentecost, the name is another lady pastor. And when I go to that church, I feel it just a little sad too. Because it's a many church around America, they say, um, they give the love to the people around the neighborhood, but they don't show the love of God to the people of the neighborhood. Because when you go to those church, they don't even care. You'll be standing right there. You're looking for people with a lot of members and something like that, like a popular people to show the love of God. Us, so sad, so sad. Because when God invites you to repent, He didn't see how you look or how you dress up, or how um, you being outside the street of New York City, or wherever you live. He see you that you got sin, and he want to forget all the sin, right? And when we see people, they're looking at you because they want you to have so many, um, so much money, or a big church to invite you to the front and preach the word God. It's so sad. Many children around America, it's like that. They only invite people they see they popular. They invite people they got so many um um diplomas and they be studied so much and stuff like that. When they see somebody a lady from God, they look at her like they say, Oh, you're not interested in here because you're not a doctor. You you not a, uh, you're not a, like I say, you're not a, um a lawyer or something like that. That's what I invite you to do, to the front to be preaching the word God. We, we don't want you to give you a, a, a meeting or we don't want you to be spoken in the front. You have to have some or something like that, so we invite you to the front. We see so many children around America like that. What are we talking about that? Because when I, I had a phone and my phone broke like this one right here, what are I going to do about it? Nothing. Because it's not working no more. So what are I going to say? Oh, is this man fall? No. It's my fault because I let him fall down the floor. Is something perverse, right? Because it's, this is only a uh, 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 soldier, right? It had not have to be glorified at home because they fall down in the floor and they pray. We see a lot of people in America, they glorify the pastor, they glorify their bandit, their own bandit, their own people. And that's so sad. That's why people didn't manage to cite the internet. Yeah, I know you see that message and you get mad at me and say, I wouldn't want this woman around my church because she likes to talk and she likes to clarify church in New York City. No, no. It's because a lot of church needs the law of God. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And we see so many. Um, it's our black neighborhood. It's our black community. So you need to give it the love of God to the community. And we don't see that. And we don't see that. Because when you go to this church, these people, they don't show the love for God. And that's what's sad. Not every church. I'm not talking about every Baltic church. I'm talking so many Baltic churches like that. When you go to the church, they got nice car, oh, dragons and stuff like that. With a style, you know, you got a new and nice job. But you never remember who gave it a job. You never remember... Who give with a car? You never, never remember who give with that day till you be alive. And you know it's God. So you need to give you what you have to the other people. Yeah, I don't see that kind of love of God in you. And when I explain to you this, and that's why you don't see me in your church. And that's why you don't see me sitting on your bench. You know why? Because the pastor doesn't give you no love of God either. He's just looking for a popular people. And sometimes his two faces, when you see him outside, I'm talking about the pastor. You know why? Because when you see him outside in the street or New York City, or you see him on the corner right there, ask the pastor, what you don't call me? Pastor, what you don't looking for me? Oh, I'm so busy. I've been flying. I've been going to so many countries. 
So you don't look for the um the people be purposes so you be looking for be fly and looking good and stuff like that and not even looking for the people that you they don't come to your church. I see some I saw a lady from church, this miracle church, this she was around neighborhood walking like uh, she's um um her mind is gone. You know why is she's been walking with so many clothes bags like she's Santa? And I asked her, what she just like down the street of New York City? What's going on with you? And you know who, who's this lady? And she said, you know why? Because I got many problems. And when I go to that church, miracle church, all oh, those ladies right there, they're laughing about me. They think I'm cuckoo. I'm crazy. That's what they say. I say, what she laughing about you? You are a lady from God. They're supposed to give your love for God to you. She said, I don't know what's going on, but you, they don't give me no love for God to me. You just keep on looking at me. I'm a, like I'm crazy. It's a lot of people from America Church that be gone, and nobody looking for those people. And you know it's true. I be calling outside. Don't the pastor that don't do it. That Joseph and they don't do it because she's the right to the um the choir. Um and Eric, they don't do it. Um the pastor. Um, son, he did not do it either because he's not going outside to the city of New York, give us some flyers. I'll be going outside to the city of New York City. Those flyers belong to you, church, but you're not doing nothing for, for the world God. What are you doing? Putting uh, uh, um, the flyer outside from the front door and uh, you know what you do? Nothing. You thinking people are going to pass and you don't preach the world God? It was those flyer beast um, put them right there. And it's like a library, you put in some book and you explain what's going on with those books in the library. So I be standing right there from the door, you don't even know me, I'm right there. And you got the door locked. And I'll be explaining to the people, I'll be passing right there, I'll be preaching the walk and you miss the flyers. And they like it. That's why you see sometimes people, they are your church, you say, where they come from? Because this woman right here is the one send those people to your church. Um, let me tell you something, Eric, Pastor, and you know this is the truth. I let you know in the end, right here in the internet. And sometimes you get mad at me because every time when I go to do church, you don't even care that I'm a woman from God and I'm a, I used to be a, um, a pastor's wife. And you don't care that God used me in a different way. So that's why you give me back to the lady like that. And you even looking at me when I be going to your church. And you know it's true. Because I went to your church and now I was having a, like a, um, a, uh, let me see. Uh, I was saving that day the, the service and there was a woman standing up and told me, listen, you cannot take me to this church. It what is the problem when I came to things like that. What is the problem? Oh, because, you know, um, what is the problem? You saw you being inside the internet and that's inside my and YouTube and they're not doing nothing bad with the videos I put in there because People can see how the church is going on. And sometimes people ask me so many questions. Because you know, you church is serving God, but it's not serving God the same way the other church is serving God. Because you're from Africa, right? And Pentecost are people different for the people from Africa, but it's the same God. Do you understand what I'm saying? And sometimes they ask me so many questions to me, right? I said, no, this is this serving the same God. They praise God and everything. I just explain that to the people. Because I give you a real good testimony about that church. They, I know you can give you a good testimony to this lady inside your church. It's so sad. It's so sad. I explain to you what is my feelings about the church around the neighborhood. You know, because I'll be going. I'll be going there. You saw my faith. You saw my faith. Be sitting on your bench. You know, your bench because I mean, it's like you church. Because if you're going to say, it used to be my church because the pastor gave me so people that they say you can come to the church and be a member. So that's what I want to say. Ask the pastor Eric. Eric gave me some um those cards for be abandoned from the church. And he said, no, you need to do this and he gave me so many manners. But like I said, who give you so many to him to show the Lord God to the people that he didn't show? I never see the pastor around the neighborhood who give some flight to nobody. He's just put some flights inside the church. But who's giving the love of God to the people around the neighborhood? A lot of people ask me, why is the show was like, or sometimes they open the door, but they don't explain to, to nobody what is as the love of God to, to the people. They don't show to nobody. You can have a church, but if you don't show the love of God to the people, it's like you don't be doing nothing. Why you want to try to um, try to people come to um, heaven? When you even preach the word of God and you preach about the sin while people they be doing aside in the world.
is something you know difficult and different, right? Because you know people from your church and you know every they be preaching the word of God. It's a man preaching the word of God, and when the service finish, everybody go home and do the activity and stuff like that. But nobody goes to the street of New York City to hear some flyer. And you know it's true. And I'll be even lying to you. And I know a lot of people they be seeing my videos, but they don't even care. Because I know a lot of people, they be abundance and people from church, they two faces. That's what I'm talking about. Because if God was two faces, you thinking that would give you the love, the love to the people they come to church? No. They say, oh no, because you sin the whole the whole day and you come to church just sitting down to the bench and show a face and say God didn't see me but God see you because a lot of people when they come, finish the service and they be um, preaching the word of God in the church they when the service finish go home watch, watch TV right and you watch every program that you like every movie that you like and you be serving the devil and God the two and the person at the same time and God they don't divide the glory with the table and you know it's true I just tell you the truth, and the truth lets you and me, everybody on the, around the world, free. And you understand what I'm talking about because you understand my English, right? I be speak English in a lot of language, and in time, I give you the glory to God to give me that kind of blessing. Yeah, that's what people that don't like me because I tell them the truth right here in this um video. So a lot of pastors inside the church that don't give a lot to God. I saw sometimes every one my one he used to. Um, my husband used to be alive, he gave me just a little bit of love to my husband. But sometimes when he go to church, he didn't want up my husband preaching on the church. And you know because he was preaching the word of God the way that God wanted them to preach. And sometimes you become the word of God, you don't preach the truth. And the truth make you and me free. Why you church just like that? What those lady in your shirt, I mean church, inside your church? Doing whatever they want because you not preach the truth and the truth make you and me free. When you tell those women you be well a man close, they get mad at me. They look at me, give it back to me like that. Why? Because you be preaching. That's in Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. And you tell them read that right there in the Bible. And they get mad at me. Oh, my wife can do whatever they want. My wife can um, dress the way she wants it. She can dress down like the ladies outside in the street. And she can be serving God. God does not. That God they don't. They don't. Um, like I said, divide the glory with sin. You like to do sin inside the world and do it on the glory of God's church. God don't divide that. And you divide that because you never had like a face to face with God. That's what I'm telling you. This is the truth, and the truth make you and me free. That's why you don't want me to preach your work inside the church. That's why everybody covered what is sin. And then everybody wants to go where? To heaven. Where? To heaven. Nobody want to go to the lack of fire. And you know it's true. This is a message to a future. And you know it's true. Sometimes you was coming to my door and bring some offering because God taught you hard. And that was the man of God that we used to be from 2000 and 2015. But when, like I said, people change. People change. You know I'm widow. I need help from a lot of children around America. Because when not that lady come to your church, you say, oh my God, this lady needs some help for us. Because now she's by herself. And sometimes those women, they widow. And the Bible say those people, they come from another country and need help. And ladies like me, that my widow, need help for pastors inside the church. Give it their hand. Oh. And give it a hand and give it a lot of God. And we, I'm not seeing that then. I'm not seeing that. I see a woman like this lady. When I go to the church, medical check. I see this lady, um, Josephine. Why she looking at me like that? I don't know how to do nothing wrong to her. And she didn't come and say, oh, so forgive me if I did something wrong to you. That's the way she's supposed to be with the people. No, she forgot that she passed away from this earth. And she don't forget what... Uh, her brother or her sister, she don't go to heaven. She know she gonna go in front of God and gonna ask you, listen, why you don't go to your sister or your brother and tell her, listen, so I just wrote something wrong to you. Let me, can you forgive me, sister and brother? Can you forgive me? And then gonna say, okay, I'll forgive you. So then you go to the altar and pray to God. That's what you have to do. But a lot of people, they don't do that. 
A lot of people do whatever they want. Because I see seeing it, this. 